Hello, Southgate. So uh, this morning I was uh, sorting the icons or apps or whatever you want to call them on my phone. Uh, I like to have a tidy back screen or whatever you call it on my phone and, and I like to put everything in their own little files and make sure it's all clean and I can see my, my picture I've got set up, which happens to be a wonderful picture of my lovely wife with a small little bird on her shoulder. Anyway, I was sorting the apps on my phone and uh, I've got a few, you know, prayer assistance apps, uh, uh, different um, a worship app on there and and I compartmentalized all of those uh, apps under the app title faith or the file title faith and I was thinking about that I was like that's kind of ironic that I'm separating my faith out from the rest of my phone and I'm thinking how often do we do that in our lives you know um, you know, the, the old saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, too many Christians are living kind of like that. You know, what happens outside of church stays outside of church. And um, so I was thinking about that. And, and uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 18 through 20, verses 18 through 20 ran through my head. And as Jesus talking, he says, A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. What's our fruit look like? What are we producing in our lives? What are other people seeing come out of our lives? Are they seeing good fruit or are they seeing bad fruit? And so I got to thinking, you know, well, what is good fruit? And of course, that started rolling through my head, the fruit of the Spirit, which is found in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 23. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit uh, is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. If we're not, if our lives aren't showing that fruit, that's not a good thing. If we have the Spirit of Christ living in us, then he's going to provide us with his fruit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We need to be living those out in our day-to-day -day lives. Father God, I am grateful. I am grateful for the Southgate family. I pray that we would be filled with your spirit, both inside the building, outside the building, in our homes, wherever we may be, that your spirit would be upon us and that we would be bearing the fruit of your spirit. Help us be more like you in every way. And guide our hearts to look for you in your word, in our lives. Help us to be like you. I pray this through Jesus' name. Amen.